Hi guys. Today I'm very excited to share this brain box game with you guys. Um, I'll leave the link below for you for it and how much it was if I can still remember. But basically this game um, it's an educational game that I do with my kids. They are two sets of flashcards. This is the one we're doing because we're still beginners, I'll say. Um, what I do is, okay, you can use the flashcards to teach your kids the alphabet sounds, A, B, K, D, and so on. And they are very hard, which is something I really like about them. They are hard and the kids can't destroy them easily. Plus, they are waterproof, which is great when you have little ones who can put it in their mouth, even though it's not recommended for kids younger than three years. This one right here is for four year old four four plus but we play together i play with my four year old twins and with moge who is ten three soon okay basically how you're supposed to play the game is you're supposed to take one flesh cut and then you give it to your students or to your child they must study the flesh cut while studying you turn them with this 10 second timer which is on an hour class so that's 10 seconds uh, you time them they started the flesh cut and when um, the 10 second is over you take the flesh cut away you can give it to another child if you have more than one um, if you have more than one um, child or students and then once you are all done um, studying the cut then here at the back there are questions about what they just saw for example let's do this one this is B. so they're supposed to look at it they see what's in there what's written there the colors they must just memorize everything as much as they can and then when the 10 second is over you you roll this dice so the first player will roll the dice okay dice says number two and then you ask the child um question number two in this case it says how many words beginning with b are shown so the child must recall that they were four words it's banana bird uh, sorry it's banana baby ball and books and then uh, they have six questions and you can ask um, if it's a group you can ask each child one question by rolling a dice or if maybe it's just one child you can ask the child all the questions or you can roll the dice if this time around it's number one you ask the child the question that is number one and they roll again okay then maybe it's two and so on but um let me just make an example with this one let's just study it together okay and then when the 10 seconds is over then you can start asking the question okay now you must look away so the first question says what is the baby playing with so i recall there was a baby with a ball and number two how many words beginning with b are shown there are four words it's ball baby books and banana does the ball have stripes or spots mm -hmm. it has stripes and if i can ask you the colors you, you see it depends on how old the child is you can make it um interesting like that or make it challenging for them is the cut mainly green or orange it was green yes <laughs> 
How many books can you see? Can you remember how many books were there? Three. And I can ask you the colors of the books. Um, are there more books or more bananas? There were more books because there's only one banana and three books. So that's the um, brain box game. I really like it and I love the fact that they have different um, boxes for different uh, age groups. So this one is like beginners four and above and then there's one I think for seven plus and, and so on and so on. So this is our first kit and it's our first box and we, we, we're loving it. Also what I like is with this, uh, if you're using this as flash cards, you can, you get the different objects that starts with that um, a letter sound, like in this case it's a it's ambulance, apple and ants and then they can ask the questions but you can use it either as flashcards and using these objects this can also help your child with the vocabulary or you can play it like a game like I just explained I think it depends on what you want to achieve and also on the age of your child because if your child is still if the child is below four you can use it as flashcards and you can go through these objects to increase their the vocabulary and can you imagine there's a lot of new words the child would learn from these flashcards and they also have cap, uh, capital letter alphabet and small letter so which is also good for your child to see that it's still the same alphabets just the other one it's caps and the other one is small letters you can use the dice for other things like i do for other games as well and it's very cute it's blue it's it's very cute and um, you can also use this hour class or 10 second timer for other things as well okay that's the information about the brain box their websites but i'll link everything um below and you can um, follow them on social media and also on youtube and there's also their website in there and this card this box the one that i have for four year olds it has um 26 letters of all the alphabets and then it also has the um, different blends in there and this game can be played like i said as a family or at school in a school environment and it's multi-level means the adults and children can play together and like i said you can make it as interesting as you want and yeah and yeah i really like the fact that they use recyclable material on their on their flash cards So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll link all the, the information below and I'll also link some of the material that I use for my flashcards apart from this. Thank you so much for watching.